for SSBU. Game one. No, I'm glad the practicalities was here commentating with me. He made that set so hype. Like the first couple times I commentated set here, they were just boring play by plays because I didn't know what was exciting or not. And uh, you know, I hope I'm gonna get better at commentating, but God, practicality was just so much fun to commentate with. I hope I can do that again. His spacing is really good. I want to see practicalities take fruit and only press B. You know, I wouldn't be surprised, but he's been pressing A a lot. Uh-oh. That guy, uh, yeah, yeah. No way. Way too early to be giving somebody with fire hydrant. Why did Turek agree to go here? That's a great question because it's a maybe just because it's a new stage. You're on stream. Oh, just a frame late on the punish with down smash. This is winners quarters. I just got sent to losers from winners quarters. I believe. Stock one of the set taken by practicalities. I am just gonna, now that we're on stream, I am gonna take a little second just to rant. I was on stream 10 minutes ago against Takoon, I mentioned earlier, but like, I was playing so bad. Like, I, if you were to go watch that VOD right now when it gets uploaded in a couple days, you'll see that there was a part in the set where like I grabbed him and I used down throw, and you know, down throw to up air is a really good combo with DDD, and my finger slipped and I, I down throw air dodge and got punished for it pretty hard. Like, that was. That's about as low as it goes in your in your career as a Smash player. It's like, that's just worse than SDing. And I was so, like, embarrassed. That the, like, I really wish, you know, one of my earlier sets was on stream. But, you know, you win some, you lose some, I guess. I was just... Oh, my goodness. What? <laughs> that was plot armor. Turok, you are a lucky man. You have to win this. You have to win at least the game now. But really, you got to win the set. You know, I was not a fan of Sora being in Smash, but Kingdom Hearts music in Smash, we take those. I'll take it. Any any fantastic soundtrack making its way into Smash Bros. And that's game one. Practicality's taking that game with authority. Both a shield break and a lot of hard reads. There's no way they're going to gentleman to Hollow Bastion again. If they do, Turok is crazy. Oh, I just heard my game get called. I wonder if they're going to let me commentate the rest of the set. I doubt it. I really doubt it. He's probably going to pull me out in a second. Ah, I want to commentate the set so bad. Practicalities. We had... Oh, he's switching to DDD. He's switching to my character. I have to commentate this set now. I gotta commentate a fellow DDD. Let's go, Turok. Three, two, one, Damn, now I don't know who to root for. Great down tilt. A lot of landing forward airs. I hate DDD's forward air. That's like, it's, it's by a significant margin his worst move. It's so laggy. It's negative on hit at low percent. It doesn't combo into anything. It doesn't pressure shield. It doesn't, it just doesn't do anything other than like, love tap somebody off the side of the stage like that's pretty much all you're doing it doesn't give like yeah you got a strength buff but it doesn't you know get most characters unless they're like at 80 or higher or unless they're little mac in which case why are you using forward air against little mac off stage use inhale be a funny guy now the real question is why did practicalities switch to kazuya against a fat slow character like ddd you'd think that simon would be the what was that 
Was that patch? Was that the whole thing like with Kazuya's whatever getting nerfed in yesterday's patch? Well, I don't, don't want to know. You know you can jab block out of down tilt. Like, it, it wouldn't have worked from that distance, but I would have gone for it anyway. It's always worth it. Oh my gosh. I thought that was the second stock. I, I need to see a DDD in top eight. Is that death? No. Yeah, no. That was a really good land. So my thing with um, landing with neutral B is DDD is that I keep B reversing it, which puts me either in front or behind my opponent, which is obviously not where I want to be. I need to get better at just turn around um, using inhale, but like B reversing inhale is the most amount of aerial mobility you can ever get with DDD. It's the same reason why snakes B reverse grenade a lot. Never, never do that. Just as a general rule, never use up B below the, the above stage. Like never land with up B as DDD. It's, it just puts you in such a punishable position, and Turok is incredibly lucky that Practicality didn't capitalize on that. Yes, DDD can suck in uh, Kazuya's laser, although it doesn't do anything because by the time the laser will reach him, he can have enough time to shield most of the time. It's it's still so jank. How much damage is he going to get now? Down air? Nobody air dodged in. That's that, Yeah, that was a free punish. Up smash? Yeah. B reverses the Gordo. That's a classic. Is he dead? Yeah, no. DDD can recover from the pits of hell, and so can Kazuya, apparently. He has Rage now, which means he can take the stock really early. 118 on Smashville? That's early for DDD to be dying. Like, you want to be living to 150. Yeah, see what I mean? Dead. In my set against Yoshi on Saturday, I was living to, like, 192. I'm so surprised that I won that set. Uh, you know, Yoshi was playing so so good, but I was like, it's just DDD versus Sheik. She can't kill DDD. Like, ooh, I thought that was going to be like a quick comeback stream. Oh, that grab was so punishable. Turok now has to play really defensively because anything, yeah. Turok, what? Oh, practicality. You are a lucky man. Turok, if you throw, don't throw, man. That downer was so bad. You could have re-grab. No punish on the re-grab. Practicalities, now you're throwing. Oh my gosh, they're both griefing. F-Tilt doesn't kill. That's a move that's got to be buffed. There needs to be one more... Great way to, to win, I assume. Uh, there needs to be one more patch where DDD gets a couple buffs. And now they're going to call me out so I can play my set against... I think it's Tej. That's another Simon Belmont. Damn, what if we have two Simons in top eight tonight? That'd be funny. Instead of two DDDs. You know... I, I believe that both me and Turok can make it to top eight. Let's get two DDDs and two Belmonts in top eight. Thanks for listening to my commentary, fellas.